All right, we're cooking this steak using these ingredients. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hey, as you can see, the steak is warming up. Uh, we've had it out of the fridge for a few, and now we're going to go ahead and salt it. Don't be too shy with the salt. All right, get the other side, and pepper. If we weren't going to baste it, I would recommend using garlic powder as well, but we'll have garlic in the pan. So here we have the shallot we're cutting. And we'll magically peel that garlic real quick. There we go. And uh, rosemary and thyme also. All right, so now you can see the steak is closer to room temperature. And we'll go ahead and use that mild taste high heat olive oil. Make sure the pan is about 430 to 450. Add that. Timer has started for the first side. Use a well seasoned pan and keep the steak moving when you first put it in. This will get you a more even sear and stop it from sticking. You can see the pan is still hot. We've got 430, 450, somewhere on there, perfect. All right, we're gonna want a little darker than that. I generally, generally recommend you start with high heat and then turn it down to medium once the pan is up to temperature. All right, a little longer. All right, 508, that looks good. And we'll start the second side timer. And about a minute in, we'll add the garlic and shallots. Gonna wanna move these around too in the pan to get a nicer color on them. And butter. Please add butter. I'm not your doctor. This should not be construed as medical advice. Alright, about two minutes in, add the herbs. And you're going to want to mix those around. You're going to want to infuse that flavor into the butter before we baste. So after a minute some change, we'll start basting. All right, get that delicious buttery goodness all over that steak. More basting. So we are almost done with the second side. Second side is usually quicker than the first because the uh, steak is overall hotter at that point. And we're going to pull it out. Let's call it 420. All right, you know it would be a great idea? Arugula. All right, so we're in the backyard grabbing some arugula. Nice and fresh. All right, real quick, and let's get back in there. I went ahead and rinsed that. This video has been edited. All right, so we'll go ahead and add some salt, and we'll wilt this. Add some pepper too. And 
And looks like we're getting pretty close there, yep. Nice and wilted. All right, here's the steak. Steak has probably rested for about four or five minutes. Go ahead and cut into it, and you'll see if I could do anything different, I would probably rest it for a little longer. But as you can see, it looks delicious. Definitely going to eat it. All right, we'll just do some thin slices. All right, and there we go. We got the steak. We got the wilted greens, garlic, and shallot on top. And I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, comment below if you have any issues or you want to see something different. Uh, I appreciate you watching and take care.